Hey you guys, Gameboy3800 here once again for Confident Gaming back playing more BeamNG Drive, and today we are uh, redoing a video I did some time ago for the best drag racer. We have all these cars lined up ready, ready to go. All ready to go through the, to go through the map. And that's interesting. <laughs> the building goes into the into the rocks there. Never realized that. But yep, the current champion is the Annihilator. Let's see if I can line this up. There we go. The Annihilator is in the left lane, ready to take on wh whoever wants to challenge it. So we have all the drag cars available to me at the time. We have the Moonhawk, the Barstow, we have both 200 VXs. We have a new edition, the Covet. Actually, I believe one of the 200 VXs is also new, so new stuff all around. And then we go to Team uh, Gavril. We have the uh, Grand Marshal, we have the D-Series, we have the Roamer, and then we have the Bandit. And then way over there to the right is the Bolide. And then finally, King of them all, the Annihilator. Alright, so first car we're going to do is uh, going to be the Bar Star because I can't actually get the Moonhawk out of here right now. So we're going to switch to it. And just have it go up. Now the FPS flag is from all the cars being uh, in the game right now. Even my powerful computer can't handle it, so I don't think yours could either. Don't say it could. I don't believe you if you say it does. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is disable AI control, or just get rid of the thing altogether. Along with damage, we don't need to see that. And now we're good to go. Now we are using the stock versions of the... of mostly all the vehicles. Like the stock version of the Moonhawk, the Barstow, the uh, Bolide, the 200 BXs, the Covet, and the Grand Marshal. The only things that are not stock are the... D-Series and Roamer, because by default they come with only a 4.5 liter V8 and no supercharger or anything like that. So I gave them a 5.5 liter V8 with a stage 3 supercharger, so that it'll be more interesting and more fair for all the vehicles. So we're going to begin with the Barstow in 3, 2, 1. Get those front wheels way in the air there. Now we are going to top out here, there's not too much I can really do I don't think. Like 165, 167, about 170 it was going up before. I can show you that even with uh, the extra uh, differential speed here with a open uh, rear diff here at 2.64 which is way uh, lower geared. Like going in three, two, one. It's still going to have about the same top speed. See, it still kind of struggles to get up past 165. And it still ends at 170, so, yeah. Whichever one of those two times are faster, I think they're going to be... I think they're going to be pretty much identical, though. So we're going to move the bar style forward so I can get the... A Moonhawk uh, situated over here. There we go. I can now pull out. So we're not going to bother doing the differential thing on the Moonhawk. It's already as good as it can be. So I expect the Barstow and Moonhawk to have extremely similar times. For obvious reasons. They're basically the same. Gonna go in three, two, one. I am noticing that the Moonhawk has a lot more boost at the beginning. Over a hundred versus about ninety for the Barstow. And actually, it's, the Moonhawk's faster than I thought it would be. The Barstow only ever got up to 170 at the end. This got up to over 180. So I think this will be the winner for here. 
Oh, and I put a trailer hitch on all rear-wheel drive vehicles that did not have uh, a wheelie bar. So the Barstow, Moonhawk, and Annihilator all have wheelie bars, so they did not need one. But everything else, they have a trailer hitch to act as a, as a tiny wheelie bar to help keep these vehicles under control. So first is the regular Drag 200BX, perfectly aligned. We're going to set it off in 3, 2, 1. We only get the front wheels up there. I don't know, this thing's not too stable here. But I can keep it somewhat straight, don't cross the line. Nearly 190. I think that's going to be a time to beat. Let's go for the Nomi Dragster. Now this vehicle is interesting because it's got far, far too much power for this size vehicle. Just watch. If I rev it all the way up at the beginning, wheelies so big even the trailer hitch can't help and I don't think even a wheelie bar would help. Once we're finally on the ground, we wasted so much time accelerating. It's not going to be as fast as it could be. 2.30 at the end though. You think, what? It can be faster? And the answer is yes. If I don't rev it up all the way and let it uh, stay calm at the beginning, I believe it can be faster. Perfectly aligned. So I'm going to rev it up just a tiny bit and see if I can't calm that front end down. So we're going to go in three, two, one. I take it back. This is even more out of control. No! Oh no, the wheel grabbed the thing. Okay, let's start with no rev up at all. Because I give it like a half second rev up a time there. Apparently that's still too much. There we go. Gonna go in three, two, one. Still gets up in the air. Oh no. Well. Alright. Let's give it one final chance. If I still can't control it, even with the wheels on the ground, then it's gonna have the go to the 230 speed thing that it had before. So we're gonna go in three, two, one. No! Fine, I'll point it to, like more to the right. It's not supposed to be like that, but I mean, this car, you got no choice, don't you? There we go. Gonna go in three, two, one. We hit the wall a little bit, but we're fine. Now you can see, over 2.30. So I believe that's gonna be its top time, but if not, then oh well, that was a waste of time. Uh, next is the Covet, which is front wheel drive. Very interesting. I just got an annoying engine, so I took it out for the time being. Engine, where's this one? Now let's make sure it's got all of its tuning here. Pro front wheel drive drag tuning. And let's just make sure it's as stock as it could be because you can't add a trailer hitch or do much to it. So Covet, where are you? Where are you? Here we are. And we're just going to reset you. We're going to go ahead and get the drag version here. Just to be sure it's as, as stock as it can be and fair as it could be. So the Covet is interesting because it's front wheel drive. And with it being front wheel drive, you can do an interesting thing. You can do a legit burnout before the race here. So let's go ahead and do that. I think that's cool. I think Beam should have a legit uh, drag racing like level or scenario of some sort. So we're going to go with the COVID in 3, 2, 1. A lot of wheel spin. 
Had to be super gentle on the control. But you can see it really gets up there. Over 200 miles an hour at the end. 215 just about. I think that's going to be a pretty good time. I wonder if I can get that better without doing the wheel spin at the beginning. Let's give it a shot. Just for the hell, hell of it, you know? There we go. I'm going to go in three, two, one. Now it still does wheel spin, actually. That was actually faster at the end, though. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and remove the engine again so that you can actually hear me. There we go. Next up is the Grand Marshal. Starting up the beginning of Team Gavril here. We have the Grand Marshal, the D-Series, we have the Roamer, and then the Bandit. So this has actually got the biggest engine. Alright, okay, bigger st biggest standard engine so far. It's got a 7 liter V8. Uh, yeah, that's, that's going to do it for you. Or is that like a 727? Alright, we're going to begin with the Grand Marshal in 3, 2, 1. One ninety at the end. I like how it just kind of squashes up so much, and it seems like half a car. All right, continuing on with Team Gavril, we have the D series, and I have the back uh, trunk or tailgate down, uh, so that it can act kind of as a spoiler. I'm hoping it'll work like that, anyways. I give this some extra trim and stuff as well, just to say, hey, look at me. There we go, perfectly aligned. I go in three, two, one. Some wheel spin, but not enough to be uncontrollable. Definitely one of the slower times so far, but below 160. But hey, it's better than it would be otherwise. Let's put the tailgate back up here, and now it's time for the roamer. Oh, and I guess I kind of lied. The bandit, I don't think, has a trailer hitch option. I'll take a look right before I send it off to the races. There we go, perfectly aligned. Gonna go with the uh, Roamer in three, two, one. The Roamer is heavier, so it's not gonna have as much get up and go power. This, I suspect, will have one of the slowest times. Once again, below 160 at the end. Alright, Bandit, do you have a trailer hitch option for us to throw on you? Hood, none, rear bench seats, so I probably could take out the bench seats to make it, or all the unnecessary seats to make it better, so let's go ahead and do that. What, well, I can have a wing on this? Rear GT wing. That's actually not half bad looking. What about the sport wing? Hey, that's more like a dragster lip. Yeah, I like the GT wing, wing better. And no, I don't see a trailer hitch option for this. Would it be on rear bumper? No, if it's not on rear bumper, I don't know what it would be on, so. Uh, yeah. We customize it a little bit. 
but that shouldn't affect its overall top speed or time. Maybe just help keep it slightly more controllable. And the bandit has a habit of snapping its drive shaft, so hopefully that doesn't happen here. We're gonna go with the bandit in three, two, one. All right, no drive shaft snapping, that's good. All right, 189 at the end there. I think that's gonna be a fairly decent time. I think about on, p on par with the Moonhawk. And then next up is the um, Bolide here. Now the Bolide is broken, it no longer works. Don't believe me, I'm gonna hit the gas here and off go the back wheels. It's a shame, I know. Bolide's a good car. I think he had one of the better times uh, in the original run, but here, this is as fast as I can get it going. Before it snaps. How fast was that? Five miles an hour? Yep. Something with the suspension or driveline uh, died in the most recent update. So yeah. It's not going to do it. So it's just a spectator here. So that leaves only one more car to go. The Annihilator. It's already lined up and ready to go. I think it's still going to be the top dog. But let's find out. The Annihilator going in 3, 2, 1, go. Now the speedometer is highly inaccurate. Because right now we're going about 300 miles an hour. And there we go. The Annihilator, I believe, is still the champion, but who knows? Maybe the uh, Nomi 200VX is the new king. I don't know. I don't see the time right now. You can see the leaderboard right now. And hey, if you predicted right, you know if you would be the winner, or I guess the more challenging bit would be guess the third placer because you can guess the first or second pretty easily or you could guess the last placer pretty easily but the third placer you never know who that's going to be i don't know what i'm talking about there but anyways if you enjoyed more drag racing and Drive, then please go ahead and leave a like favorite comment share and of course subscribe and look at those exhaust pipes they're, they're twisted and mangled in a way they sh i'm not sure they should be so yeah that was it. Thanks, Game Boy. I will see you in the future.